You're watching the Sega Holic episode 99. Hori PlayStation Fighting Stick Refurb. Here's some other details about the stick. The recess buttons here hold the standard size switches and you just drop them in. And the plunger is actually a 24 millimeter plunger, but really short. And here's a plunger taking off a 24 millimeter push button. Uh, these are usually used for the uh, start buttons on the arcade machines. And you can see here, if you really want to use them, you have to shave off the sides and you have to make these latches here a bit thinner. But what sucks is the slots here that um, 
engage the switches here, they're oriented wrong. So I guess you can't use the uh, 24 millimeter plunger. Unique to this stick is that the actuator holds a rumble motor. And also of note is that the actuator has about a millimeter and a half distance of play from neutral. So a millimeter and a half either way to engage the switches. Stock it uses high quality Omron switches. If you're gonna be using aftermarket switches, I would go for these short say Mitsu switches here. And compared to the stock switch here, you can see that the switch um, does not sit as low as the stock one or even an OSBF Sanwa one. You want the button sitting a little bit lower just to clear some height as you're gonna use connectors on these. And you don't want the connectors hitting up on the PCB because you're gonna have to mount the PCB on the bottom plate. Now if you do want to use this PCB mounted to these, uh, you probably could if you bent uh, connectors here so it'll line up on the board and you would have to file these down to make the holes wider to accommodate arcade switches here. And again these switches can fit into the stock uh, buttons here if you won't wish to um, use the stock buttons. Or another option is to just change the, the buttons if you just want to change the colors and just swap out the stock um, switches here and drop them in here and that way you can change the colors just in case the buttons on the um, original is faded sort of like this one here now if you want to use an aftermarket stick like this JLF um, you can see these mounting holes here it's not offset like this one here they do line up but it's gonna tilt like this because this part is hollow but what I would do really is to just use this part to get the overall shape of this and 3D print it flat, you know, this one solid piece that you can drop in here to fill up this gap. And that way you can put this uh, stick on like so, or you can uh, break this down. And you can see the base has um, some mounting holes here that you can use to mount it down and you can create your own holes um, that would be um, drilled out the flat solid piece that you would uh, 3d print that we can just mount it drop it in
So here's my final thoughts about the stick. When you first get the stick you'll notice some hot glue holding these tabs down which you'll need to remove. The motor hides the end of the shaft which has a slot so you can tighten or loosen the ball. Don't do what I did in the beginning of the video and use a vice grip because the vice grip might damage the shaft if you're not careful. Also you might notice a redundancy of ground on the PCB for the stick switches. I just used one ground point and daisy chained them to the common points on the micro switches. I replaced the wires because solid core wires were used for the original and were pretty brittle. So yeah, I'm glad I found this because the rumble motor actually makes the experience unique and pretty fun. Ori's old hardware gets an undeserved bad rap in my opinion. For 99.99% of us, getting Sanwa parts won't make a difference in our play. The only difference obviously is going to be durability. But again, like I showed earlier, you can easily change all of the switches. But yeah, super happy with how the paint job turned out. You can see the fighting stick logo still and also the individual button labels. But yeah, I really like the stick and I was able to pull off Akira's stun palm of death which I have difficulty pulling off and um, I was able to pull it off uh, pretty frequently and I really like the design there's nice height to this plus it just looks kind of uh, cool but anyways comment like or subscribe I do respond to all questions and comments and I'll see you guys next time Aloha